I wanted to do a quick run through of my sewing studio as it stands right now because this weekend we are going to do some rearranging, some reorganizing to my studio to try to get, you know, motivated. I've been kind of in a slump the past couple months. That's part of the reason why I wanted to do the why I wanted to do the YouTube channel so I can kind of document and see where I've been and where I want to go and it's terribly messy. So anyway, I warned you. I don't really like the layout of the room. We're starting from right behind the entrance of the door. Uh, we have really high ceilings in here, which is really good, but all of my dress forms are kind of just shoved off to the side wherever I can fit them. There's my desk. So yes, everything that's accumulating. Everything is so messy. There are so many things like in my bookcase that I don't, like, look, I still have expansions to WoW back there. And then the thing I like about this room is this huge window right here. But again, it, le it actually lets in tons of heat, so it's really not that great. All of my fabric hoarding, and that's only the outside. Some of my threads right there. See, this is the problem. There's some of my threads. These two boxes are full of tons and tons of colors of thread. I have tons of thread up there, and I have boxes of thread in my closet. I have a problem because I have one antique machine in my closet, my Burnett right there, this uh, Commander sewing machine from, I want to say like the 40s, 30s or 40s, and the table. I have my, this is the one I use a lot, which is my uh, number one plus Viking Husqvarna sewing machine. It has some embroidery capabilities, but I'll do a video on my machines later. And then I have two sergers. One's currently threaded with black, one's currently threaded with white. And then just a mess of stuff that used to be really organized. And then, okay, so here's the last part of the room. Got some rulers hanging up there. All right, you ready? Oh, and my ironing board is on the back of this closet. You're gonna be scared, I know. All of this, <laughs> all of this, um, I used to actually have, tw see all those bins right there? I used to have actually twice the amount of fabric that I have now, and I got rid of half of it. But yeah, so this is actually organized compared to how it used to be, but it leaves much to be desired. And I'm hoping with this cutting table we're going to be making, I'll have storage underneath that so I can free up some of the hanging room in there maybe not have to have this rack. It's really super disgusting right now. <laughs> I'm kind of ashamed of it, but I wanted to do this video because I wanted to see how it was before we go through and we organize everything and make everything look pretty. And then also getting a cutting table will help me so, so much. And having a cutting table at pretty much belly button level uh, lets me lay out the fabric and the patterns and cut much much easier. I don't know how I've lived this long without it because when I was in college, which gosh, 2007, <laughs> right into 2008, sorry. That's what we have. We have nice cutting tables that you could pin into. We're going to put cork on the top of them so I'll be able to pin into the cutting table and we'll put brown paper or muslin on top or something so I can uh, hopefully iron on top of it too. I'm super excited about it. So I guess that's it for now and I'll talk to you guys really soon.